Hello YouTube, uh, it's IDT Productions here uh, with my first tutorial video with my uh, new channel. Um, uh, anyway, we're going to be making an intro exactly like the one I just played for you. It is going to look exactly the same if you follow these exact steps. And even you can even use uh, the same uh, song I use, you just have to use iMovie or whatever uh, to edit it. So let's get to work. First thing you want to do is um, Go ahead and open uh, After Effects. I'm using CS4, but uh, it doesn't really matter. It's all doing the same. Uh, composition, new composition. Uh, 1280 by 720. 25 frames per second is pretty good. 30 seconds. It's all pretty good. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it uh, Intro. Okay. Now what you want to do is uh, right click, New, Solid. That's fine, just hit make comp size, okay. Now you want to go effects and presets. Type in ramp. Click, drag, you got a ramp. Um, the one I did for the video was actually a radial ramp. Um, you can actually do whatever you want, but um, to get it what I did, um, you can do this. Adjust these to exactly how you like the start of the ramp, um, all this stuff. Um, I, you can do it like this, you can do it really whatever you want, it's really up to you, um, really personal preference, um, I just leave it like this, that's kind of cool, uh, okay, uh, next thing you want to do is, uh, right click, new, solid, and that's fine, leave it like that, um, and then go to effect, simulation, CC particle world. Alright, next thing you want to do is you want to take grid to off. Uh, go to physics, uh, velocity, zero, gravity, zero, leave animation, uh, leave the birth rate for now. Go to particle, um, do uh, fa uh, faded sphere or uh, shaded sphere. They both give a, a different look, but both are really good. Um, so now take this top. Uh, timeline and drag it forward a little bit till you see that um, and then go up here to producer and radius X radius Y and radius Z you want to drag to get a nice scattered look like that um, and the Z this is like 3d so you want a little bit of that just to make it look pretty cool and again for the ramp you can really do whatever colors you want um, I'm doing. Uh, I can. You can. I did black and red. You can do whatever you want, really. So personal preference, I guess. Or you could just do white and then the bottom one black, or just white. That doesn't look bad either. So you could choose. Um, now back to the uh, fog balls things. Um, the birth size. Do it pretty big, because you want it to look pretty cool. Um, and you want it to look like almost fog kind of things. Um, so I think that's it for that. Now what you want to do is you want to right click new camera. I have my zoom on a hundred millimeter and um, 36 millimeter film size. Uh, you can just uh, look exactly what I did and do that. Millimeters horizontally. And then it'll look like this. So grab the camera tool Go in a little bit, you can browse around, this is how it's going to look in the video, and see there's not quite enough dots. So go back to your, um, and increase it a little bit more. So that's pretty cool, like that. Alright, next thing you want to do is just add some text. Click on the T. Uh, do this. I'm just going to do IDT Productions, just like in my last one. You can do whatever you want um, for you. You can do your YouTube channel name. And I hate that font. Let's change that. That's a good size, like 65. Um, but you can change the font to whatever you want. Personal preference again. So we have our one text. Now our next. Uh, I'm going to do present. You can also just have one text field if you want. Now the next thing you want to do is click on the presents. And then go search center center and view same thing with that one and that'll just get it 
perfect. Now take this and just drag it a little bit above it. And that's going to be exactly centered so it doesn't look funny. On same thing with the solids, you can make sure they're centered as well, but I don't think I moved them, so they're all centered. Alright, now with the animation. Um, go ahead and click on the text field. Well, let's do IDT production first. So click on the text field right here. Oh, first make sure they're 3D. So select this little box, and I don't make them 3D. And you might think, oh, where'd they go? That's just because they hid behind a layer. So they'll be back in a bit. First thing, you want to drag the timeline a little bit back because you, the animation we're doing, um, you're going to want it just a tiny bit back to get, um, just to get it so you can see it better. So the camera again is going to look like this, which is pretty cool. Um, now it's doing it 3D. I don't know why it didn't do it before. You can just use your uh, mouse to scroll. Uh, that's weird. Okay. Um, I'm just going to zoom over there. Okay. So it's going to look like this. And now it's 3D lettering, which is cool. So this is how it's going to look when you uh, do the video. So you want to do it almost exactly. So you can, again, click on the text, uh, click center and then just change it a little bit and that's going to center for you but you might see that the dots don't go here so what you can do is you can actually undo and leave it like that um, it's not 3D but you can actually just leave it it's not a big deal if you really want it 3D that's where they want if you really want it 3D I guess you can um, you can do it but it's it's not you don't see much of a difference when you're recording you see you see it a little bit when you're like browsing around but when you're recording it's not really a big deal okay so now let's start it let's go ahead and move this up a little bit Oop, that's not it there we go okay oopsie that was not good Okay, back to normal. Okay, so that's how it's going to look. Next thing you want to do is you want to click on IDT Productions and search. Um, actually, it's easier just to go to Animation, Apply Animation Preset. And I got to this by its first presets. Then go to Transition, Wipes, Movement, Dissolves. Um, wipes are fine. You can get some pretty cool ones, uh, transitions, movements. I like the movements the best. They have the coolest look. Um, so I'll do, um, I'll do bubble for this one. So it's going to look like this. Oopsie. Didn't drag the timeline back enough. Okay. So it's going to look like that. It's going to like bubble out. And then it's going to go back like that. So next thing you want to do is you want to leave the timeline all the way to the left and then drag it to it first appears. This is the presents, but we just did IDT. So you want to drag it to it first appears with the bubble. So that's going to appear and it's going to lay like that. And about two seconds later, we're at, we're at like three or two right now. This one's going to do it. So click the presents, animation, apply animation preset. And I like the 3D temp tumble for the second. And then as soon as that goes, that's going to go. So it's going to look like something like this. Drag these back a little bit. So it's going to have a little bit of nothing. Oopsie, okay. So it's going to have a little blank so the people can get ready. And then it's going to come that. And then about half, two seconds later, or half, yeah, that's going to appear. So it should look pretty cool. And then I usually edit it around right then. But if you want to keep it longer, like to play your songs or something, just drag the IDT and the presents, the two text, forward a little bit. And then it's a little bit longer, but then you have a little more time. So next thing you want to do is now, if it looks all right with you, which this looks fine to me, go ahead, go to Help, search Ren Add to Render Queue. Okay. 
um, and hit add to render queue. Okay, and you don't hit render yet. You need to hit output to click intro. Uh, you can name it whatever, and I'm going to write intro for YouTube. And where, I just have it in my code project, so you can put it on your desktop, whatever. Leave it in QuickTime Movie. You can use that for YouTube, you can use it for iMovie, um, it's pretty good. Hit save. Um, you can change all these settings. It really comes default, it's fine. Go ahead and hit render. Uh, it's going to start rendering it, it doesn't take very long. You can kind of see a preview of what it's going to look like. Um, it's going to look pretty cool. And again, this was really fast. Um, so if you if you try a little better and take a little more time, you can really perfect it till it's like perfect. But this is for YouTube. This isn't for if it looks really really good. So again, change the camera view, change the effects, the animation until it's done. I'm going to go ahead and um, stop the video until it's done, and then I'll play it when I'm rendering now. Um, so it rendered to where your uh, specified file was. For mine, it's a file called uh, Code Projects. Projects. Um, so if, you, if we can go take a look at it. Uh, most people, I think the default's the desktop, but um, yeah. So this is what it's going to look like. Now it has no sound, um, and again, it's not perfect. I would have done the animation a little bit different, but I was in a rush. I mean, we're already up to like 13 minutes. So that's how it looks. And see, we have it at 30 seconds, um, but it's, it's like done at like 15. So what you can do is just use iMovie or like Vegas or something and just trim it and then you can add the sound to it and you're done and you can use it for your videos um so that's it uh take a look take a look at more of my videos i'll be posting i'm trying to post like one a week on uh tutorials about adobe and uh, illustrator after effects things like that iMovie um so go ahead and subscribe like and comment see ya